Hi everyone, hope you're all okay, hope you've had a nice weekend. Right, a couple of weeks ago, Nina Ribena did a video of um, playing with napkins where she used wax, the wax paper, to like fuse napkins to the wax, well, wax paper and copy paper and fuse the napkins together. And she said that she tried with cling wrap and she couldn't do it and I thought ah oh, I remember a couple of years ago that I did some and, and I've been trying since I saw Nina's video trying I've been scrolling all through the videos of trying to find the lady who I learned from and I thought I'm sure that I did it with some cling film and I found some bits that because I, I found these the other week and I thought, how did I do them? I couldn't remember. Because my memory's so poor, I couldn't remember how I'd done them. But when um, Nina put her video up, I thought, I'm sure I did it with cling wrap. Anyway, these, these are just the bits that I've given loads away, but I, I've done quite a lot. So if I've given you any of this, this... What I'm going to show you in a minute is how I did it, but the red napkins, that one I've done on red paper, and that one I've done on white paper, just to get a different look. Um, and then there's that one. So these are all what I did. Well, it's actually three years ago, because say I found this lady's video, can't remember her name, I will leave the link. Um, and I went, I would say I went to the video and it was three years ago that I'd said thank you for her video. Anyway, so I thought, right, I've been buying some more napkins recently, so I'll have a go. So last night, I've got two lots of cling film and this will probably drive you mental because I can't tell you what make it is. But there's this one, they're like industrial ones, they're not... I can remember at the time that I tried with our, you know, our food cling wraps and that and it wouldn't work. But I've got two rolls, different rolls. Now this one, it's... but they're, they're industrial so if you can get any... You know, if you know anyone that like works in a factory or something like that or anywhere where they wrap stuff up with this sort of thing. But this one doesn't work. And if you look at this, it's like grey. It isn't, doesn't look grey like that. But this one doesn't work. I tried that first and it's just nothing. But this one, this is the sort you want. And this is when you, you can hear it look. It's more stretchy, sorry about the noise, but it's more stretchy and it's white. So if you can get a roll of this and you want to do the napkins, this is this one will work and it's brilliant. Um, and I'll just show you a few of what I've done. I did the whole napkin, you don't have to, because I've got some large paper, you don't, obviously don't have to do a whole napkin. So that was the first one I did. I've got these, they're so pretty. Oh, they're just so pretty. And then I thought, I wonder if I can do it with some tissue paper. So I've got this that somebody had, well, I've got some of this anyway, new sheets, but this was in some happy mail. So I used that, and look how nice it's turned out. It's unbelievable. So there's those, <laughs> and I've got little oddments as well, because <laughs> it won't all quite fit on my paper. Then there's that one. It's just lovely. Um, and there's this one. <laughs> this might be a bit of a long video. Uh, I don't know what to show. Right, I'm just going to cover this up. And take you to my ironing board. I can't show you properly because I obviously can't do it one handed. But for anybody that I'll leave the link to Nina's video as well because she'll explain how to do it um, with her wax paper and that. But oh, hang on a minute, 
Uh, well, I'll show you this in a minute. This is this paper is just grease proof paper, parchment paper. It's not wax paper. It's just like what you line your cake tins and that sort of thing with. But I'll show you the box that I've used. So you want a sheet of that down from your ironing board. I know a lot of you all already know how to do this. Then you want your sheet of just just plain copy paper. But I've got some some of the big sheet what we call a3 and then a piece of sheet of your your cling wrap and then just the top ply of your napkin and it's just beautiful and then put that on the top and then just iron it and um doesn't take very long at all I mean with the other cling wrap that I used the one that didn't work I was I did it for like five minutes and it just was nothing I mean I've already done this one but um, a dry iron and on the hottest setting and it just sticks and it's brilliant I actually did this one last night as well but I just thought right well, I'll save it for the morning but yeah, so you want parchment down, obviously you don't want this sticking to your iron, then, <laughs> excuse me, your paper, then your plastic, film, wrap, whatever you like to call it. I mean, it's probably going to be trial and error for people, but you can get this stuff over here, ladies. <laughs> I know they're, I think the American ladies, your food cling wrap, um, it works anyway but over here ours doesn't seem to do um so that and then you one sheet of your napkin and then the parchment on the top so i'll just cover you up again one through with me right let's pop you back up there look Ooh. right so this neck, I mean, this is a beauty. It's what I've got last week, but that's the first, the top layer. Tell I'm excited again. And that's the second layer. And I think that is just gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I thought I've got to do, I've got to try it to see how it comes out. So that was that one. And then, you know, just cut it away cut it out and if there's any bits that haven't quite taken just put your parchment paper back on the top and iron it again but this is the paper that I've used uh, just grease proof paper I mean I suppose you could just um, use white paper if you wanted to just something so that your iron doesn't stick to the to that um, but yeah it's I'm excited again. Well, I say I've done this before, but it's I just wanted to do it again. And then the other thing I did was I thought, right, with one of these pretty napkins, just let me move all this out of the way. I wanted to try to do some, I've done this before as well, some like well, washi tape if you like. So all I did was, I think it was Secret Soto that I first saw do this. I'm sure it was. Just get your top layer of your napkin. Hold on a minute. I've got one here. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, get your top layer of your napkin. I'm not going to do it like that. And then just put double-sided tape on it stick double-sided tape on all across it so i know i'm not I'm not showing anybody anything new none of this is my idea just so it's like that and then burnish it all on like that this is just on napkin but i've tried it with the um the fused one as well i'll show you look i don't know if that's the right is that the right word fused i think it is um let's see if I can find the end. I'll show you the difference. Oh hang on. Which one's which? <laughs> I can't remember which one. Oh that's uh that's just uh 
Mm. Oh, I don't know. This is a just a washi tape one, just a napkin one. I mean. I love it. So this isn't the, with the paper on. This is just literally the top layer of napkin. But so pretty. Can't work out which is the other one now. That one, look, because it's thicker. And this is the one. Did exactly the same thing, but on the sheet of... Look, you can see that's not as transparent. And you get a brighter look. You know, this is more like your normal see-through washi tape, if you like. I mean, um, but it's not, it's high tack as opposed to low tack. I don't know whether it's picking up, whether you can see the difference of it or not. But yeah, so... That is it, but I was well excited. So thank you, Nina, for putting that video up the other week and making me remember how I did it. <laughs> I mean, I've got some wax paint. Oh, God. Excuse that's my doorbell. <laughs> it's usually the dog barking, but that, that tone, that'll be somebody setting it off with the car keys. It's not actually anybody at my door. Um, yeah, I've got some wax paper, but I didn't want to use that. I thought, well, I'll try with the cling film first. So I hope that's helped anybody that wants to have a go. Uh, I think that's all I've got to show you. Yes, it is. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Yeah. So, yeah, hope that's helped you and thanks for watching and thanks again, Nina. I'll leave the links to both the ladies' channels and if I've forgotten anything or you want to know anything else, just give me a shout. Okay, take care. Bye.